Hey everyone, Travis here again, and thanks so much for joining us for the next video tutorial for the Unique Venture Club platform. In the last video, we connected our wallet and we got started on our user profile. Today, we're gonna proceed and create our own club. So let's do that together. So on the top of the main page here, you're gonna see a green icon that says Create Club. Go ahead and click that. The first three pieces of information we enter here are the club name, the associated email address, and we can upload an image. The first decision we have to make is to decide whether this, whether the application status for this club is going to be open or close. Basically, for open clubs, anyone can send in an application, whereas if it's closed, the founder needs to send out specific information to um, specific invitations to users by entering their public keys. From here, we enter in a club description and we can proceed by entering club tags. Um, this enables anyone looking to join a club to enter specific tags, for example, NFT or Gaming Guild. And any particular club with those specific tags will pop up just to ease that search process. Finally, on this page, you can enter in your social networks for your specific club. And you can continue by clicking on next step on the bottom. Now you can decide which of the governance configuration you would like to choose for your club. In this video, I'm not going to go into particularly what each of them mean. I'm just going to let you know which ones we have here, which are the deposit based, role based or NFT based. Make your selection and we'll take it from there. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go through role based. In the next step, you'll be able to decide which roles you'll have available for your club members and you can outline the number of votes that each role will have so for this video i'm going to choose founder and member i'm going to give founder 10 votes and i'm going to give a member three votes know that you can also choose a manager at this section as well and soon you'll actually be able to create your own custom um, roles which is very exciting and will be available very soon by clicking on the next step, this will bring us to um, our, the page where we can actually send out invitations to um, any members that we would like to recruit right away. And we do this by simply adding a new member in the icon in the middle and make sure to enter in their accurate public key. And here you can assign them a role immediately as well. enter in as many as you like right now the max uh, members that we can have in a club is 99. so for the next step uh, we can either choose to do this now or later and that's to set up the fundraising configuration now this is where you can set up a cap for fundraising so that you guys can all start pooling your funds together and get started and just be aware that once the amount is reached members can no longer deposit funds into the treasury um, and also that um, the amount that each member contributes to the treasury will determine the amount of rights that they get within the club, depending on the governance configuration that you choose. So for now, I'm going to skip this step and we're going to proceed. This is where you can choose the voting configuration um, for your club. Know that there's a ton of flexibility here and you can really make it your own, depending on what your needs are for the club. Here we have three specific sections of uh, data that we can input. The first one is voting configuration. Basically, um, you have the approval vote percentage, which is the amount of accept votes that you need in order to proceed with the vote or the proposal. And you have the max voting time, which is a value determined in days. Next, we have our withdrawal configuration. And this is the amount of yes votes that you need to actually be able to withdraw funds uh, from the treasury. And the same two values that uh, are required um, for the voting configuration are required here, the approval vote percentage, as well as the max voting time. Finally, we can set very specific trade approval configurations, which really ramps up the flexibility that we have in this platform here. So first of all, if you don't choose to, to enter in any specific trading value ranges, just know that 
Um, the default voting configurations will be used for all proposals, and those defaults are the ones that you uh, entered in above, and that's the approval vote percentage as well as the max voting time. What's really interesting about this is you can actually decide on a price range that will require either a lower or a higher approval vote percentage for specific proposals, which can really help enhance the efficiency of voting in your club. Now you can get started by clicking the add trading range and enter in your values here for whatever your specifications are. The next step on the bottom right is you can preview your club. So by clicking on the club preview, you can get a great look at exactly what's going to show up for your members and your viewers. And just know that you can edit things um, on this page as well before actually going ahead and making it public. Uh, it will also show you the Solana network fee that's associated for publicizing your club at this point. And just so you're aware, the cost of the transaction is equal to one cost of one Solana transaction, which is 0 0.00025 Sol. And that's it. Congratulations, you have successfully created your first venture club on the Unique BC platform. For further information on how to use the platform, follow the link that we have here. Um, also, feel free to join our Discord where any of our community managers would be more than happy to help you out with any of your um, questions that you might have. Also, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment to fill out our feedback form, that will help us make this platform the best we possibly can. And your feedback is extremely valuable to us. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.